Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy, and today we're going to measure the distance to the sun from my backyard. Now, in my series of videos on the solar eclipse, I talked about the method of Aristarchus to find the distance to the sun in terms of the distance to the moon. And what he realized is that during the half moon, there was a right angle formed between the sun, the moon, and the earth. And if he could measure this angle right here, it's just a little simple trigonometry to figure out the distance to the sun in terms of the distance to the moon. In other words, the secant of angle theta here, which is 1 over the cosine, equals the distance to the sun over the distance to the moon. Well, as it turns out, today at 3.13 p.m. was the first quarter of the moon. And a rarity here in Michigan, I had beautiful skies and could clearly see the moon and the sun in the daytime sky. So what I did was I set up my sextant. I taped it to a camera tripod and I set it at such an angle that I could see the moon through the telescope. And by setting it out to about 90 degrees, I was able to see the sun up next to the moon. It took me about 15 minutes to get all the angles just right, but I was able to successfully do it. So what I ended up getting was the sun right next to the half moon, kind of like this. And I adjusted the sextant so that the sun and the moon were just touching. This is a pretty standard way of taking a noon sight, for example. You always go to the lower limb of the sun rather than try and estimate where the center is. Because on any given day, we know the angular diameter of the sun. And we, if we divide that in half, we can add that to our reading of the lower limb and get a reading for the center. And that's what I did. On today's date at about 3.13, according to Stellarium, the half diameter of the sun was 15.14 arc minutes, and the half diameter of the moon was 15.75 arc minutes. If you combine those readings, it means that you have to add 30.89 arc minutes, or 0.515 degrees, to your raw sextant reading. So let's have a look and see what kind of readings I got. Well, before I started, I determined the index error of my sextant. Now, the index error means that when I looked at the sun on my setup, I saw two suns. They were a little bit off from each other, and I made some adjustments in order to bring those suns together. So the index error, as it turns out, is negative 45 arc minutes. So in other words, when the sextant was set to zero degrees, I had to actually remove 45 arc minutes to make it truly zero. So when I take a reading, I have to add 45 arc minutes to my raw reading to get the true reading. So let's go ahead and go over the readings. So what I did was I took three readings 30 seconds apart, and I pretty consistently got 90 degrees, five minutes, as the limb-to-limb -limb distance for the sun and the moon. And that works out to 90.083 degrees. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to remove the index error. So we take that 90.083 degrees and we subtract 0 0.75 degrees. And that gives us 89.33 degrees, Hail Sagan. Then we have to add the center to the center correction. So we have to add to this 0 0.515 degrees. And that brings the center of the moon to the center of the sun. And we got 89.848 degrees. Next, we have to calculate the distance to the sun in terms of distance to the moon. And that equals 1 over the cosine of 89 0.848 degrees. And what that equals is 377.7 .7 over 1 equals the distance to the sun in terms of the distance to the moon. Now so far I'm pretty excited about this because if you look this up and if you look at my previous videos that angle is given as 89.85 degrees. I'm pretty much on that. So I think I may have gotten a pretty significant reading here. Let's go ahead and do the math and find out what this means in terms of distance between the Earth and the Sun in terms of the distance from the Earth to the Moon. Now per Stellarium, today's distance to the Moon is 392,000 kilometers. If we multiply that by 377.7, what do we get? We get 148,100,000 kilometers. Now I'm starting to get pretty excited. 
The true distance to the sun today is 150,100,000 kilometers, and the ratio of the distance to the sun over the distance to the moon is actually 382 over 1. And that gives us an error of 1.33% Hale Sagan. So by duct taping a sextant to a camera stand, I was able to actually measure the distance from the earth to the sun in my backyard. And guess what? You can do it too. You just need the right equipment. I have a Davis Mark 25 sextant. They run about $250. You have to do this on either the first quarter or the last quarter of the month at a time that the moon is in the sky at the same time the sun is in the sky. In other words, during the day. Then you have to check date and time to find the exact moment of that quarter. This measurement was far more accurate than I expected it to be. Uh, that's a very pleasant surprise to me. Uh, I did do it very carefully, but it's rare that you find one that just falls into place so nicely as this one did. So this is Bob the Science Guy. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit a follow for this channel and you'll get more great stuff like this. Take care, guys.